The landslide history of Hong Kong traces back to 1889, when a severe May storm dropped 33 inches of rain in two days, causing widespread damage. In the 1920s, heavy rains also triggered major landslides causing the collapse of several buildings and retaining walls, especially the one at Po Heng Fong, which resulted in over 60 deaths in 1925. Hong Kong grew rapidly along with its population after the Second World War. Building development extended from the flat areas near the harbour front up to the mid-levels. At that time, many new immigrants constructed squatter huts on the foothills. The risk of landslides was greatly increased. Hong Kong was once again hit by a historic rainstorm in 1966, when over 15 inches of rain fell in 24 hours, causing widespread landslides. But the 18th of June 1972 was perhaps the darkest day in the history of landslides. At around noontime in Sao Mao Ping, a fill slope above a recite area on Tsui Ping Road collapsed after days of heavy rain. All 78 huts there were inundated and 71 people perished. In the evening that same day, a landslide occurred at Po San Road and triggered a chain collapse of three buildings. 67 people were killed and the 12-story Coatwell Court was completely flattened. Lightning never strikes in the same place twice. But in 1976, Sao Mao Ping was hit by another major landslide, resulting in 18 fatalities. The government became deeply concerned about slope safety after this incident, and a number of geotechnical experts were appointed from overseas to carry out slope studies. On the basis of recommendations made in the report on the slope failures at Sao Mao Ping, 25th of August 1976, a special office was set up in mid-1977 called the Geotechnical Control Office to oversee all matters related to slope safety.